Welcome to Trichology.com. Today we're diving into a topic that may catch many by surprise. One day you're fine, and the next you notice your hairline retreating. What's going on up there? Let's explore why this happens and what you can do about it. First up, let's talk about an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. This little enzyme is crucial because it converts testosterone into a more potent form called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Elevated levels of DHT are notorious for weakening hair follicles, which can lead to hair loss not just on your scalp but overall. Another key player in this scenario is androgens, which are male hormones. Yes, even females have them, but in lower amounts. When women experience an excess, it can lead to symptoms like facial hair, acne, and even a deeper voice, a condition known as polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS. So how can we reduce 5-alpha reductase? By using natural inhibitors. Zinc tops the list, not only for this purpose, but also for boosting your immune system, a vital feature if you're battling conditions like alopecia and autoimmune disorder. Furthermore, omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin B2 also play significant roles in inhibiting this enzyme, thereby reducing the production of DHT. Switching gears to androgens, how do we manage them, especially in females? One major culprit is high insulin levels, which can be addressed by adopting a ketogenic diet and practicing intermittent fasting. These lifestyle changes can significantly help in normalizing insulin and consequently androgen levels. Remember, these suggestions aren't just for women. Men dealing with excessive DHT could benefit immensely from these strategies as well. That's a wrap for today's discussion on reseeding hairlines and hormonal impacts on hair health. For more insights and updates, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell on trichology.com. See you in the next video.